Hello, digital card fighters. This is Kyle Lee, better known as Ride My Avatar, bringing you another deck profile. I know we hit just a thousand subscriber not too long ago, so I'm working on something big in the lineup. I know I'm taking a long while, but it's sometimes really hard to just show you everything I want to show you and catch up. So our big thing today is a deck profile. We are bringing in an old budget deck fused with new support that just makes it extremely deadly. So without a further ado, let's get into it. And remember guys, I live stream every Monday, Thursdays, and Saturdays around 5 p.m. Monday and Thursdays, but Saturdays I usually stream around like 3, 3.30 till midnight. So if you guys want to catch up and hang out, I spend a lot of time in just chatting around and just hanging out with you guys and having King of the Hill games or just playing, having fun. So guys, just remember to stop by, say hi. If you guys want to, that link is down in the description below. And without further ado, let's get into the amazing deck profile I have for you two today. So remember the transition screen is just new. And we are bringing into Blau um, Ethic Buster. So first off, our starter is none other than Miro. So Transmigrating Evolution. So Counter Blast, look at the top five to grab a grade three or greater card. So why would we play this card? Well, we want one of these combo pieces in our opening hand. So Beast DD Ethic Buster, when Rotopon, your Vanguard gets 1,000 the following ability. When this unit attacks, stands all your front row rear guard. When boosted, it gets 3,000 until the end of turn. Hmm, why would we care so much about that? Well, see, Stern Blau Luger says, when this unit attack hits a Vanguard, Counter Blast 2, discard two cards from your hand to stand all your units in the center column. Draw a card, this unit lose twin drive until the end of turn. So you can just hit swing, restand, swing, restand, swing, restand. As long as you have the cost to do so, you just keep going. Next, we play BCD Yamato Drake. So when this unit stands you're in your battle phase, it gets plus 4,000. So you can just get magic power columns, everything like that. And then we have one Illuminal Dragon, Counter Blast 2 to stand two of your BCD rear guards. Does is kind of the same thing as Ethic Buster, just though it is very useful because it counterintuitive if you don't have the Ethic Buster and you're not cross riding it, um, well, break riding it, you will not be able to get its effect to stand to. Well, it's meant to stand back row, but I don't have BC to rear guards to stand. So we're not gonna really use it for that, but it's just there to stand the other two, just for a weaker turn, if you just need the extra restand and just try to kill. Next we play Golden Angelet, because when this unit stands during your battle phase, it gets 4,000 till the end of turn. So if you're doing Blaluger, you can do it up to like a bunch of times and get like 10 attacks a turn. It gets scary. Um, Blau Cougar is there because when attack hits, counter charge, and be able to make him an 11k base sometimes hits magic number. Trans Riser is in this deck just for the fact is sometimes top deck, grab that grade one you need. Top deck, hey, grab the grade two you might need. Oh, look, you survive a turn extra. Next, we run Magician Girl Kyrie Kakara because of act is counter blast two, draw a card is still useful. Next, we have Energy Charger, Soul Blast 2, draw a card. Next, we have Solar Falcon, which is the new Sentinel at 2. So basically, if you were to die, it triggers the old PG still is when conditions are met for this perfect card to activate. So basically, when it activates, you at least get a shot at it. Um, this activates at 3 damage with a crit regardless or two damage with three crit. This one only activates if you are to die at the fifth or more damage. So definitely very situational. Toolkit Boy is for counter charging. And 
I run an 8K Tough Boy because the fact is 8K hits magic numbers. And we want to consistently hit magic numbers. So let's get into the fights, right guys? So major things to take from this is that this deck can just do a lot of damage, hardcore push, and just sometimes just wail on your opponent when they're at four or more is really the sweet spot for this deck. They want to be at four or more. Well, you want to be at four because again, you can't do much outside of that. So let's see what we can do, fam. So, ooh, I think I'm going to put, keep one of you, put you back. Okay, so we got majority of our combo pieces here. This is not a toolkit boy, sadly, but we got a tough boy. And we got a PG, so we're just gonna ride up. What's nice is either they don't hit us and we go in and get in our other thick buster, which is really nice because we're not gonna lose value here. They'll either choose not to hit us and then we proceed to smack them because we're just gonna punish them for the sake of doing nothing to hit us and we lose our gray zero or we get an option at just smacking our opponent in the face so 12k ooh hits a draw trigger i got a buster so one two three four five six seven seven is not good in our favor ooh draw trigger nice oh a great two that we didn't really need at the moment but we'll make it so he doesn't really have much of an option ooh tough boy perfect so we're gonna counter blast put this into soul i wish i kind of had the counter charger for effects but let's see if we can get ethic buster off the top of this somewhere yes ethic buster come to me boy there's our good boy so first off we'll make it so that we at least deal some sort of damage i don't want to give up tough boy right now and that's like the big issue here is i don't want to do that so 9k need one to pass let's see if we can get the trigger nope oh would have been very sweet to get that trigger but i don't want to lose tough boy just yet because he makes column numbers and we might need him a turn later down the road so at least we're going to be able to push our opponent to possibly three damage if he doesn't build an overly assertive board right now but that's fine he'll swing nine we'll swing pretty much enough damage that this does not matter Ooh, he's definitely hitting a lot of draw triggers and i'm not a huge fan of that but that's just sometimes how this game plays out okay soul charge counter charge ain't nothing happening here boys a lot more phoenixes probably will come down okay so we can sack the grade three to this overly bearing field or i can sack the grade two to it and not really worry much because we're just gonna go and do our thing next turn not a huge fan that we're only pushing the two damage but you know what that just can change ever so slightly Ooh, no triggers yet again but that might not be too bad because again we're gonna take a few points of damage here we might go up pretty high so he needs to get four more damage if he has the limit break enablers it'll be a different story but at 11k we kind of have the advantage here so soul blast two he's going to draw a card keeping hand advantage where he needs to be he's going to call a board it's not even a joke call your board dude and then hit me hit me twice He might just keep okay, counter blast to retire. So yeah, he's going to hit me twice. Hopefully, because again, if he leaves me high and dry for a turn, we might see trouble later. Ooh, we hit a heal trigger. Ooh, that sets us back just an extra turn. First check, second check, no triggers. Okay, so we're just going to proceed to draw our card 
Hopefully it's something useful. Hopefully it's not a draw trigger. But, yup, it's a draw trigger. That's fine. Proceed to main phase. We're just gonna hold out. Swing, and then swing in, bring him to three. First check. Come on, something good. Mm. Nothing good coming our way. But our opponent will keep drawing advantage while we are struggling like a fish out of water just to achieve advantage. So, let's see. Major play coming in, not just yet. Again, he can't really cross ride, but his hand is way too thick. We need to take down some of that thick boy. This is not helping in the slightest. So, 11k. So, we're going to go up pretty quickly. If I hit some draw triggers, it'll be really useful, or else we're going to be re relying on our Ethic Buster play to do massive damage. Ew, heal triggering on top of that. No, that's not allowed. In the slightest. Oh, come on. At least a trigger would have been nice. Counter Blast, retire. I get it. You're just going to do that. At least get us a draw trigger here or something. Because I don't want to just sack my whole hand to try and whack you. Hit me a draw trigger. There we go. See? Ew, I'm out of heals. Ew, this is bad. He's only at two damage too. I don't know if we can really deal enough damage here that's just gonna make this matter mm. we're at 22 that's not that that's like terrible right now hopefully we can hit a toolkit boy here yes toolkit boy we hit magic numbers still so first off we're just gonna call 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 So 10k. Ten K does not matter. We're just gonna swing in. We're gonna see probably a bunch of triggers now. Just because we've been being a fish out of water. Perfect. Do a PG. I didn't want to sack the PG just yet. So um We'll give it to the Vanguard just in case he gets really beefy coming up. There we go. Toss these two. Like I called it, he's going to become very beefy pretty quickly. So discard two. Counter charge. Swing, swing. And then we'll swing yet again. Hopefully we hit a draw trigger. First check. We're just gonna do this real quick because we can and we can get proceed to keep hitting our opponent which is really nice because this guarantees hits afterwards so let's do it one more time ooh no trigger but we do hit, so. Let's do it. All in, boys. Into a PG as well. <laughs> okay. So the question comes down, is these guys will restand one more time. We swing into the PG and one more drive check into one more trigger 
Well, I guarantee these comms will nab three PGs. That's the thing. We need to guarantee we nab at least three PGs here. So, oh, we didn't get a trigger. Oh, dang. But yeah, this is what the deck can do. Especially, oh my God, oh my God, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, that's how you take it, boys. That's how you do it. That's how you annihilate your opponent to nothing. And that's how you guys get it. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And we get a, we go to Legend 7 with this deck. Come on, boys. You gotta say, that was complete hype. We risked it all. We put on the high roll. So, with that, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.